Hey guys, this week we see Creepy Cooter returning again. In case you didn't see the video before, I actually got Cooter here in a bucket. He was delivered to me from a friend of mine who owned an apartment complex and one of his tenants moved out and left two snakes behind. They left this boa constrictor as well as Cooter and the boa was a good weight, a great eater, healthy, so that one did get adopted out pretty quickly. But I hung on to Cooter and I still have him today because I still would like him to get some of that weight back. He has grown, he has gained some weight, but he still is underweight. Thankfully, he's a great eater and he actually ate uh, the same night we took him home. This is a picture of him eating right after a car ride home, after a bath, and he still was willing to eat. So that's what told me right off the bat that he'd be a great eater for us. And he does eat at programs too in front of audiences. So he's been a great addition to our programs and just a really fun rescue snake in general because he's really friendly too. I'll feed him a second mouse here since that first one does not last very long. Now the reason why we called him Creepy Cooter is it's a reference from another YouTube channel that we watch. But when I first got him and he was in quarantine, he would kind of stare at me as I walked by and it seemed like whenever I turned around he'd be in a different position just frozen in his place staring so it was kind of creepy which is also why we named him that. Cooter is a blood red mutation of corn snake so that basically means they have no pattern on their white belly and they have a completely red dorsal side so it's a really pretty snake. His colors are kind of faded and I don't know if this is due to his age or due to his health condition when I got him and his prior care but he's still beautiful in my eyes and he's a great snake overall. And to be honest, we'll probably keep him even when he's a good weight again because I've kind of fallen in love with him. But anyway, thanks for watching. Vote in the top right corner. Just click on the I to vote for next week's Feed My Pet Friday and we'll see you then.